Welcome back to another video of Pixel Nomad. Let's get right into it. I've been doing a lot of commissions lately, so this time I want to do something for myself. This one's going to be a little bit more of my uh, freeform ugly styles. This image popped up in my head where pretzels and zombies were kind of combined. I tried to be as random as possible. This would be what a zombie would look like if it got caught up in one of those taffy machines, or a physical representation of how a student loan debt can mangle you up even through death. I start with the general path of the drawing, how I would want the viewers to notice the head of the zombie first and be forced along the mangled torso all the way down to the back of the wisps of his hairs and toes. I tried out a shorter hairstyle at first, but then my second thought was I wanted the hair to play a part in the drawing. I'm creating three progressive rough draft layers, one more refined and detailed than the last. This method prevents me from getting overwhelmed with the details I want to put into the drawing. If I did it all in one go, or even just one rough pass, it wouldn't get the details like I wanted. Or sometimes, I would get the details on one spot and unconsciously forego another spot. On the final rough draft, I'm adding more depth and twists to the tears and some textures. I decided that the finished clean layer needs to be a maroonish color to step away from the often too used black outline. This color will fit later into my color scheme. I also wanted to rely heavily on weighted outlines. Thicker lines and rounded out shapes for the deeper crevices will help with the illusion of volume. I'm not following any actual anatomy for this. I'm using what imagination and combination to knowledge of the human body I have. This is obviously not realistic. I just want it to look cool. While I could change the shape of the brush to get some of the smaller details, I find that I get better control using the lasso tool in some sections. Often turning off and on the rough layers will help better visualize the clean layers and adjust as I need. In my opinion, it is easier to draw different sections in separate layers. That way, you can erase and alter without messing up the rest of the image. I really get to express my style using these weighted strokes. It's close to how I would draw a comic book in my own style. The hands have always been the most difficult part of any kind of character drawing, especially one as decrepit as this one. All the nooks and crannies make it impossible for me to go through it cleanly in one go. Don't be afraid to scrap the whole section and start over from the top. Sometimes that actually saves you time. I'll often zoom out to get the bigger picture, and then I'll zoom back in to get the details I want. If I try to draw the whole thing zoomed in, then I'll miss the bigger picture and things will not add up. I'm not using any black for shadows, only thicker lines. Things I want to pop out and be visualized in the foreground, I may thicken those lines as well. Sometimes it's not enough just to place them in front of other objects. You get a better reading if you also thicken and thin the lines. I'm freehand drawing the little details of some of the folds in the skin, some of the textures and some of the wrinkle innards. I find that drawing portions without a figurative map adds to the uniqueness of the piece. I did struggle a bit with how I wanted to go about the hairline. I figured in the end though that the design should remain stylized and unrealistic. I elongated the forehead a bit just to bring out the lines.
I'll duplicate the group and merge it into one layer. Keep underneath the grouped clean line section and start bucket filling with color as much as I can. Then I'll go around with a brush and color in the areas that bucket could not reach. The maroon outlines really mix well with the muted sickly green. And for the innards, I want the pink and grays and browns all muted as well. I'm not going to do much blood as I want the focus to be the shape and the color more than just the gore. I'm going to add a very small amount of purple for the nails, lips, and nips, and then complement the green skin with the light orange eyes. Since the skin is twisted throughout, I thought it would be interesting to add spots where blood would be collecting throughout each one of these balloon knots. Blurred it out a bit and increased the transparency to mix with the underlying colors, and I think I'm happy with it.